Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and it is time for the Jada Blossom release hop. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Gnome Dyes Sport Autumns, Autumns 2, their Have a Ball Nomi stamp set, the Have a Ball Nomi Outline Dyes, Tropical Dyes, our Big Eyed Face stamp set, the Sweet Baby Revamp stamp set, the Large Palm Tree Dye, oops, not that one, sorry guys, the Sports Dyes, along with Jada Blossom's Tropical Dyes 2, and their Card Mat Dyes. And I'm using um, Doodlebug's Plaid Polka Dot, Candy Stripe and Sprinkles, and their Seaside St Summer 6-inch Pad. So first, I'm starting out with a piece of Paper Trank White Cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11, scoring it at 5.5 inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard on my Teflon bone folder. Next, I have a piece of paper cut from that 6-inch pad, um, Seaside Summer, using our card mat dies and i'm just using some atg tape and i'm going to attach that to my card base just making sure that the tape is sticking behind the paper working on my stamping up pad as per usual there we go and next i've got some um, nina desert storm 80 pound cardstock that i cut with the same card mat die and then i used um, our tropical dies to cut um, basically some, some beach layer and then also the waves. I cut that out. That paper is also from that Seaside Summer 6-inch pad. So I used the tropical dies along with our card mat dies. And, oh, actually, no, sorry, that was candy stripe and sprinkles. I'm so sorry, guys. So what I wanted to do was have a sky in the background and then have some waves in front of it but I, I also want to <clears throat> two layers of sand so like I said I wanted two layers of sand so I measured that what I did was is I cut out the beach layers um, from both sides of that finished edge if you know what I mean that way I've got like some finished edges edges to show and um, as for the waves I cut I just used that wave die once and then it, I flipped it over right so it's it's pretty handy and there we go and using the close to my heart white daisy pigment ink that all that did was it 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 kind of just gives a shine to the top of my layers and that's what i was going for okay so here i just added a one inch strip of that pattern paper from the seaside summer six inch pad from doodlebug and now i'm going to add a quarter inch strip of nina desert storm it's just a craft card stock right along the edge just for a border using my Barely Art glue there. And then I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors uh, when I'm done. So first I'm going to put together this little tiny palm tree and I'm going to ink around the edge just with some of that uh, you know, white pigment ink. And then around the edge of the uh, palm tree, the palm fronds, whatever they're called, the leaves, with some Rustic Wilderness Distress ink. And I'm going to add that on my dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. There we go. And then that's going to be um, just a little decoration for the inside of my card. I'll trim off these pieces now with my scissors. And then I'll add this little palm tree on the inside. Just with some Barely Art glue. And I'm going to leave the inside of the card plain because I could make, make this into anything. Okay, so next, I'm just making, reinforcing my fold. Next, I'm going to put together this large palm tree. I cut it out of um, some craft cardstock first. I believe this was paper tray ink craft, and then I used paper tray ink dark chocolate, and I used candy stripe and sprinkles, um, the candy stripes and sprinkles pad for, from Jaded Bloss, or from Doodlebug for the other two uh, colors on this. So there we go. Just weighting it down. And I'm pulling out that Rustic Wilderness ink, and I'm going to ink around the edges of these leaves. Not perfectly, but, you know, just to give them a little bit of something-something. This is a very simple card design. And I find that, you know, a little bit of inking sometimes can make all the difference. Next, I'm pulling out some Walnut Stain and Distress ink, and I'm going to ink along this trunk. This is that Dark Chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And then I'll ink around the coconuts, and that is a light brown colored cardstock 
from that uh, candy stripe and sprinkles from Doodlebug again. There we go. And then I will assemble this super cute palm tree. So the nice thing about this palm tree is it takes up a lot of space on an A2 size card, eh? So I, I just love the look of it. Looks great. I'm going to layer in some of those coconuts now. And you can do these wherever you want. There's really only one that's, you know, um, you know, where that you have to add. The others you can add wherever you want. So I'm just going to add in my leaves. And then I like that I'm, I'm building a desert island here. That's what I'm going for. Kind of a castaway look, if you will. And I don't know if you know where I'm going yet, but I don't know if you've seen the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks, but I am making a Wilson card. So I just, I had to, I thought, you just have to, right? You've got a volleyball, you have to make a Wilson card. So I'm just going to glue all of this, these, these uh, leaves on this palm tree. And then I will get going on creating the rest. So there we go. And because of the layers, it's, it's you know, got a nice presence on the card. It's a little bit thicker. I didn't have to use any dimension. There we go. Next, I went ahead and I cut out the volleyball from that um, sports add-ons, the Gnome Dye sports add-ons too. And um, what I did was, as I cut, cut it out of like the base out of white and then the layer part out of white again from Paper Tray Ink, and then I used score tape to cover the back of it so all the pieces stayed together. And that's what I did. So um, it just makes it a little easier. Now I'm taping, taking this stamp set from, it's the revamped stamp set um, from Jaded Blossom called Sweet Baby. And I'm going to do some stamp surgery like you saw. And I'm using Lumberjack Plaid and I'm going to stamp this handprint on the volleyball using my Misty. And remember, I'm making a Wilson, right? So that's what I'm going for. So I'm stamping his little face. There we go. Isn't that cute? There's Wilson. And then I'm using the Big Eyed Faces from Jada Blossom. And I'm using um, the volleyball from the stamp set, or from the die set sport dies. And Jada Blossom will be getting more of those in um, shortly. I think that I heard something about the 19th, but um, you know, keep your eye out. And there we go, stamping this little face using VersaFine Versa Onyx Black Ink, I think I used. And there we go. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna pull that off to the side there. And I pulled out my Copic markers. Now this, that's not a Copic friendly ink, so I've gotta be really careful. And I'm using R29 for the tongue R20 for the cheeks, so I'm just trying not to touch the black line at all. And then I'm using my black Copic marker to fill in the mouth. I never use my black Copic marker, so I thought this is the perfect use for it. There we go. So I'm going to have this big volleyball winking at the Wilson volleyball, right? Isn't that cute? And I'm pulling out my Jelly Roll pen from Secura in a number 10, adding some freckles and a highlight to the, his little tongue. There we go. And now I've got my sentiment from the sentiment stamp, um, Have a Ball, and I use the outline die. It says, I dig you, which is perfect for volleyball, right? So I'm layering up these two. I cut another one out just to give me some layers. You see, it's just a scrap. And I'm going to over, like sort of have it overlapping that trunk a little bit. Then my little Wilson volleyball. I'm just getting him set. So there's my winking volleyball. And I'm going to pop up my sentiment with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. I'll just trim off the edge here. There we go. So that was stamped on uh, Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock. 
There we go. So it's a perfect sentiment, like I said, for volleyball. So I'm going to add that to the lower part of the beach there. And then I'm going to tuck in Wilson, I think. It's going to be, you know, a little bit behind the sand drift. I'm going to pop up the top part and glue down the bottom part, if that makes sense. There we go, and have it underneath the beach a little bit. So there he is. And I'm going to add um, Studio Katia's three millimeter Google Eyes. Just going to add two, just because I thought that would be funny. I'll give him two little Google Eyes. There we go. And isn't that cute? And there you have him. I just think he's adorable. So I'm going to pull out some doodle bug um, shape sprinkles, little hearts, love you more. And I'm going to add a few in, in the background with my um, Tim Holtz poker tool there, or piercing tool, whatever you want to call it. And I just love how this turned out. Now, you know, I was not a big fan of the Castaway movie. I thought it was so sad. It was just a sad movie for me, but Wilson is kind of funny. So I had to add Wilson on this card just because, you know, we have volleyballs. We just, I just had to do it. I couldn't help myself. So there you go. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Come back and watch another one soon. Bye, everybody.